said that this is the best car in the world. Now, he changed his mind probably more often than he changed his underpants, but that's him. I'm here to find out why he might have called this the best car in the world. So this one is powered by the 1.6 105 brake horsepower diesel unit that's fairly common across all of the VW range. Cows! Anyway, um, this same unit, you'll find this in all in anything within the VW range, and just the VW group in general have this engine, so it should prove to be fairly bulletproof, because if it's being used in so many cars, it'd be catastrophic if something went wrong, so it's probably a safe bet to say that this engine will go and go and go. The Skoda has been price pointed very carefully against the competition. Now, the feeling of the car in here, the fit and finish, is superb. I have to say, very good. Very good. Everything's nice and, you know, there's not no sharp plastics used anywhere. There's some nice soft materials used on the dashboard. The two-tone look to the dashboard is quite nice as well. And that strip of silver across the middle just kind of sets it off. I like the details. There's plenty of details too. I like this elastic string across here for holding uh, tall documents on both sides. I like the little pen holder that's in the glove box. There's a little metal pen holder in there as well. There's movable shopping bag hooks in the boot and a cargo net. So there's some decent like touches around the car. I can see what people are talking about when they're talking about the Yeti being such an excellent car. It is. It is a very capable, very smart vehicle. Uh, it seems to do everything I wanted to do and then seems to be able to do things I didn't know I needed to get done in the car. With a 0 to 60 time of 12.1 seconds, it's not going to win any races. But a combined fuel consumption of just 4.4 litres per 100 kilometres and a CO2 emissions of 119 grams means you just get an annual road tax of 104 euro. So who cares who wins a race? I would really have to nitpick to find something terribly wrong with the Yeti. I'd have to really, you know, start pulling apart all the bits and pieces to find stuff. I mean, one solitary complaint I would have is that the gear stick is a bit on the low side. It's too far down. Yeah, the seat is height adjustable, but if I adjust it down to suit where the gear stick is, I can't really see properly over the top of the dashboard. But some of the most important part of a Skoda, or of a, a kind of reasonably priced brand, is of course to be reasonably priced. And that's the whole point of a car like this. So you can have all that kit and equipment for a lot less than any other car out there. That's the whole point. Now, I'm not saying that this is terribly cheap, but for the level of equipment, the styling and practicality of the car, 20, little over 26,000 for this model that I'm driving. This is the top spec one. Um, and for this model, this particular model, it's 26 grand. That's cheap. The range starts with a 1.2 petrol engine that'll set you back 22,330 and tops out with a 2 liter TDI 4x4 DSG at 33,395 euro. So yes, in answer to your question, Mr. Clark, you may have come across what is the best car in the world. 